नमस्ते बिटिया हमेशा खुश रहो बिटिया आई एम डॉक्टर भारत शर्मा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ पैथोलॉजी फैकल्टी ऑफ होम्योपैथिक साइंस ज्योति विद्यापीठ वुमन्स यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर टूडेज टॉपिक इज इन्फ्लामेशन डेफिनेशन एंड कॉजेस इन्फ्लामेशन इज डिफाइंड एज द लोकल रेस्पॉन्स ऑफ लिविंग मेमेलियन टिश्यू to injury from any agent it is a body defense reaction in order to eliminate or limit the spread of injurious agent followed by removal of the necrosed cells and tissues the injurious agents causing inflammations may be as under first is infectious agents like bacteria viruses and their toxins fungi and parasites second is immunological agents like cell mediated and antigen antibody reactions third is physical agents like heat cold red radiation mechanical trauma fourth is chemical agents like organic and inorganic poisons inert materials such as foreign bodies signs of inflammation the roman writer celsus is in first century ad named the famous four cardinal signs of inflammation as <clears throat> first is rubor also known as redness second is tumor also known as swelling third is collar which is heat and fourth is dolor which is also known as pain to these fifth signs facio functio lacy loss of functions was later added by virtue types of inflammation depending upon the defense capacity of the host and duration of responses inflammation can be classified as acute and chronic first is acute inflammation it is the short duration lasting less than 2 weeks and represents the bo every body reaction resolves quickly and is usually followed by healing the main features of acute inflammations are first accumulation of fluid and plasma at the affected site second is intravascular activation of platelets and third is polymorph nuclear neutrophils as inflammatory cells second is chronic inflammation chronic inflammation is of long, longer duration and occurs after delay either after the causative agents of acute inflammation persist for a longer time or the stimulus is such that it induces chronic inflammation from the beginning a variant chronic active inflammation is the type of chronic inflammation in which during the course of disease there are acute exacerbations of activity the characteristic features of chronic inflammation is presence of chronic inflammatory cells such as lymphocytes plasma cells macrophages granulation tissue formation and in specific situations as granulomatous inflammation in some instances the term sub acute inflammation is used for the state of inflammation between acute and chronic 
inflammation is distinct from infection inflammation is a protective response by the body by variety of etiological agents either infectious or non infectious while infection is invasion into the body by harmful microbes and their resultant ill effects by toxins inflammations involve two basic process with some overlapping that is early inflammatory response and later followed by healing though both these processes generally have protective role against injurious agents inflammations and healing may cause considerable harm to the body as well that is example anaphylaxis to bites by insects or reptiles drugs toxins atherosclerosis chronic rheumatoid arthritis fibrous band and adhesion in intestinal obstruction this session is powered by digital version 2.0 jyoti vidyapeet women's university i hope you all enjoy this session if you have any query please mention it in comment box thank you